Let me ask you something, sis. Uh, boom. And before I, before I ask you this, let me get Titus three and three, right? Because we got to clean our people up from everything, from everything, right? Watch this. Read. This is the book of Titus, chapter three, verse three. Bring it up. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. So even ourselves was once foolish. Me, man, I tell my brothers all the time, bro. I was so foolish that it wasn't even funny. Meaning insane, crazy as hell, bugged out my mind doing all manner of evil. Each one of these brothers was too. Why? Because we didn't know God's commandments. Right. Right? Read. So, disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lust and pleasures. Serving diverse lust and pleasures. Right? We was all in that. Let me get Romans 1 and verse 26. I think that's what I want, right? 1 and 26, I think that's what I want. So, sis poor. Yeah. Right? Like I said, we was all one time foolish. So don't think I'm condemning you. I'm just asking you that way I can show you some things out of the Bible. Right? Because the men had to show me some things out of the Bible. Right? I don't think nobody was a bigger weed smoker than me. But once I read the Bible and understood I couldn't smoke that thing, I had to stop. Hormongers. Like, I, I was all manner of evil. I could go down the whole list, but I had to stop and do what the Bible told me to do and be what the Bible told me to be, all right? So don't think I'm coming at you. It's just a question. Let me ask you something. Do you got a sodomite spirit on you? You know what sodomite is? Sodomite means uh, gay or lesbian. You do? Did you know that's against the Bible? You knew? Do you think God would condemn you for that thing? But... Let me ask you something then. Do you, you don't want to change it? You don't want to change it for God? It is what it is, and I guess. You think I mean, it's. It's us to live how we want to live. I mean, we also start falling down on our past. Hold on, you say he wants us to live the way he wants us to live? Yeah, do, do, no, no, you say you, he wants us to live the way we want to live? Yeah. He did. You, you know the reason why? Matter of fact, let's, let me get that first, and then I'm going to show you the reason why he put us on this earth. Because a lot of us believe we got free will, right? I can literally go down the street and do whatever I want to. God ain't controlling me like a puppet. I got free will, right? I'm going to show you out of the Bible what free will is. And you got a cross in your ear and a cross on your neck. So you should believe in God and believe in his word, right? Watch this. Let me get that. And, uh, yep. This is the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 26. For this cause, matter of fact, go to 25. Verse 25, who changed the truth of God into a lie? So that's a question. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Who changed the words of God into a lie? I'm going to make an easy one for you, right? Well, it's not easy for everybody, but it's one of the, the easier commandments to do, right? The Bible says thou shalt not eat swine. Can't eat pork, according to the Bible, right? But society say it's the new white meat, you can eat it, it's pork everywhere, bacon on everything, right? God said don't do it, but the world changed it into a lie, said, hey, you can eat it, but God said no. He said, who changed the word of God unto a lie, right? And worship and serve the creature more than the creator. It says, and serve the creature more than the creator. The creature means the people, right? They are the creature. God is the creator, right? Creator and creature go hand in hand. Creator makes the creature, right? Who serve the, the man more than God? Read. Who is blessed forever. Amen. The creator is blessed forever, right? Read. For this cause. For this cause. What cause? In verse 25, it says, who changed the, the, who, who changed the truth of God into a lie? Right? That was the question. So it says, for this cause, for changing 
God's truth into a lie, God gave them up into vile affections. For the women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. For even the women changed the natural use to that which is against nature. What's the natural use of a woman? To have babies, to have a husband, to lay down with that man with, with a penis and get a baby. That's a natural use of a woman. Bring it up. But it said they changed it into what's against nature. What's against that nature? A woman with a woman. They can't create nothing. A man, a man with, with a man. They can't create nothing. They change it into a lie. What's this month? It's Pride Month, right? Oh, love is love. Unity is unity. What up? That's against God. God said don't do that thing. And that's not the New Testament. Right. For any any person, any LGBTQ to say, oh, God loves me. God do not like what you in. He hates the, he he hates that sin. It's right there. You see what I'm saying? He hates that thing. He said that's against him. So watch this. Let me get Ecclesiastes uh, 13 and verse 12. The conclusion of the whole matter, right? Yes, sir. Watch this. Because you said that God put you on here to do what you want to do. You got free will, right? What did he put here for, right? Watch this. Read. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 13. Uh -huh. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So, it said, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. The whole matter, the whole reason why man is on this earth, men and women is on this earth. What is the reason? Here's the conclusion of the whole matter to read. The reason why you was born, you living, you stop here today. What's the conclusion of it? Read. Fear God and keep his commandments. Fear God and keep his commandments. You got to fear God's judgments. You got to fear what God would do to you for breaking his commandments. Right. It said fear him and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. That's the whole duty of man. To keep God's commandments. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 